Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. As promised last week, I'll be taking a look at using the recently relaunched Mac Mini as a media centre, along with some hints and tips on using iTunes and third-party applications to both organise and consume your digital media. Now, when I started preparing this show, it uh, soon became apparent that there's so much material that it's not going to all fit into a single show. So what I thought I'd do is look at the basics, uh, look at the basic hardware uh, components of uh, using the Mac Mini as the media center, and then also look at using Front Row and also a third-party application as well. But there are tons of third-party applications, and I'll look at those in uh, separate shows. I'll also look at some of the remote control solutions as well. We'll just go with the standard Apple remote uh, for this particular show, but again, I could probably do a whole show on the different remote controls that you can use with the Mac Mini or any other Mac to act as a media center. So for this one, this is just really part one, and there'll be lots more to come over the next coming weeks. Okay, so that's about it for this week. Uh, lots still to cover, lots of other third-party applications. I might revisit a Sapphire next week because I'm going to be covering that as part of the ATV Flash install on the Apple TV. And then, if not the next week, the week after, we'll have a look at some of the other third-party applications such as Plex and uh, XBMC and, uh, and Boxy as well. So still lots to look at. So I hope that's whetted your appetite. Oh, and don't forget we also need to have a look at some of the remote control options as well. Uh, there's quite a few of those now, especially in the realm of both the uh, iPod Touch and also the iPhone. So uh, tons to cover. So that's it for this week. I'll speak to you next time.